morning, beloved. Happy Monday to you. It is another day which the Lord has made for you and me to rejoice and be glad in it. Beloved, today I want us to meditate on Hebrews 11, 6, which speaks about faith. It's a great season to speak about faith. This is a time that the world generally speaks about faith, but as born-again believers in Jesus Christ, this should be the scripture that's on our doorpost. This should be the nucleus in which we operate from. Hebrews 11.6 says this, And without faith, it is impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. Or I like the way the King James puts it. Now, without faith, it is impossible to please God. Those who come to him must believe that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. God is God, and with God, nothing is impossible. With men, so many things are impossible, but God gives you right here exactly what he's looking for. He says it's impossible to please him. So you may do all of these good gifts. You may feed the hungry. You may even participate in our outreach program here at Freedom's Calling Ministries. You may love your neighbor. You may have turned the cheeks 77 times 7. You may pray six times throughout the day. You may give your tithe and offering over an abundance of what's being asked of you. But if you don't have faith, the God kind of faith, the word says here, beloved, that it is impossible, impossible to please God. You must have faith that there is a God. You must have faith that he is a true God. You must have faith that he exists and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him, that he will give you good gifts. You know, beloved, one of the things that helps me to build my faith is reading the word and staying saturated around people, listening to messages about faith. My spiritual father, Dr. Nasser Siddiqui, he is the faith man. He will not allow you to talk unbelief around him. And it's not just that he's saying something just to say something. When he speaks something, I know that he is firmly convicted that that is the way that thing is. That is the way that that thing is going to be because the word says so and that's the end of it. I have some other amazing mentors in my life who provoke my faith, who provoke me to jealousy. These are the kinds of people who I saturate myself with. These are the kinds of words, in addition to the word of God, that I saturate myself with, that I pour out upon myself on a daily basis. Because, you know, let's face it, beloved, sometimes you can really go through some trying times that can shake your faith. And that's okay. You can repent, ask God to help your unbelief and ask the Holy Spirit to come and empower you. I pray often for the gift of not just regular faith. I want supernatural faith that can move mountains. I remember uh, a situation some years ago, beloved, where I just had this desire that I wanted to work from my home. I wanted to do business from home. And it started off seemingly like it was my own desire, but it was also the desire of the Lord. The Lord began to drop down supernatural faith in me where I just felt in my stomach all the time that I should not be seeking things that were outside of that realm, that it was going to happen. When I plugged up to that faith, knowing that I didn't know how it was going to happen, I didn't know the details of what was going to happen, but I know that I believed that I know that there was faith here. I know that God had dropped something down on me. It came to full manifestation and thank God for it now because of everything that's going on in the world with COVID-19 and some other things that we see. I want to encourage you, beloved, today to get in the word. Let the word build your faith. Sometimes what I have to do is if God has told me something or if I just know that I need something and I know that it is the will of God for me to have that thing, 
I will find a word to stand on and I will say that word again and again and again and again. It may be just repetitious words initially coming out of my mouth, but the more I say it over and over again, intentionally desiring and trying to hook my faith up with it, eventually it starts to shift something in my body. It starts to shift something in my spirit to the point where I start believing it because God said it, not because I'm going to blab it and grab it. No, with faith, beloved, you have to seek the Lord for it. You have to ask the Lord for revelation concerning it. You can't just make up something to put your faith on. It has to be in alignment with the word and will of God. Beloved, I pray that you will please the Lord today with your faith. Don't try to do it in your own strength. Go to the Holy Spirit. Allow him to help you. And then saturate yourself in the word. Saturate yourself in the book of Hebrews 11. Saturate yourself around those who believe, preach, teach, and live faith. Happy Monday to you once more, beloved. Have a great day, a wonderful week, and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye for now.